Why does Italy, a country renowned for its rich history and vibrant culture, struggle with such a low GDP growth and virtually non-existent productivity growth? This question has puzzled economists and policymakers alike for years. Italy is a country of great potential. It's a land of high fashion, mouth-watering cuisine and breathtaking landscapes. Yet when it comes to economic performance, the picture is not as rosy. The Italian economy has been grappling with stagnation, marked by low GDP growth and almost zero productivity growth. This stagnation paints a grim picture of a nation that seems to be stuck in an economic rut. So what's behind Italy's economic stagnation? The answer lies in its failure to reshape its comparative advantage. Comparative advantage is a crucial concept in economics. It refers to the ability of a country to produce goods and services at a lower opportunity cost than its trade partners. Traditionally, Italy's comparative advantage lay in sectors such as textiles, automotive and agriculture. However, in the face of increasing global competition, Italy has struggled to maintain its edge in these sectors. The problem is compounded by lagging innovation and educational attainments. Italian firms, especially small and medium-sized enterprises, have been slow to adopt new technologies. This has hindered productivity growth. Meanwhile, Italy's educational system isn't producing enough graduates with the skills needed for a modern, knowledge-based economy. These challenges have created a discouraging environment for investment in education and innovation. After all, why would individuals or businesses invest in education or innovation when the economic prospects look so bleak? This lack of investment in turn, further exacerbates the country's economic challenges. Italy's economic stagnation is not just a result of external factors, it is also a reflection of deeper structural issues within the Italian economy. It's a vicious cycle, one that Italy has been trapped in for decades. However, this current state of affairs didn't come about overnight. It's the result of a series of events and decisions that have shaped Italy's economic trajectory over the years. But how did it all begin? Let's rewind the clock. Output. To understand Italy's current economic predicament, we need to dive into its past. Italy, like many European nations, experienced an economic boom in the years following World War II. This was a period marked by rapid industrial growth, particularly in the north of the country. The Italian economic miracle, as it was often referred to, was a time of prosperity, with industries such as automotive, fashion and manufacturing thriving. However, the economic landscape began to shift in the late 1970s and 1980s. The global oil crises coupled with political instability at home, led to a period of stagnation and recession. Italy's economy, once a beacon of growth, was now struggling to maintain momentum. The industrial sectors that once drove Italy's economy started to wane, facing stiff competition from emerging economies. By the time we reached the 1990s and 2000s Italy was grappling with serious economic issues, the country was hit hard by the European debt crisis, with its public debt skyrocketing to one of the highest in the Eurozone. This triggered a series of austerity measures, further hampering economic growth and exacerbating social inequality. Italy's economic progression, once marked by rapid growth and prosperity, had now spiraled into a state of almost constant crisis. Despite various attempts at economic reform, the country has struggled to regain its former economic strength. Low GDP growth and virtually non-existent productivity growth reflect lagging innovation and educational attainments. The incentives to invest in education and innovation are weak since economic prospects are bleak. The failure to reshape Italy's comparative advantage has been a significant factor in its economic stagnation. The country has not been able to adapt to the changing global economic landscape and has struggled to foster innovation and competitiveness, so the seeds of Italy's economic woes were sown long ago. But what about the health system? Is it also a victim of the same historical and systemic issues? Italy's health system, once a pride of the nation, has been facing its share of challenges. It's a bitter pill to swallow but the reality is that the once enviable Italian health system is in crisis. And this crisis isn't an isolated phenomenon, but rather, it's intertwined with the broader economic challenges Italy is grappling with. Let's delve into the heart of the matter. Much like the economy the health system is suffering from a lack of innovation, the healthcare technology that once set Italy apart is now outdated, and there hasn't been much progress in adopting new technologies. This has led to inefficiencies and has hampered the system's ability to respond effectively to health crises. And it's not just about technology, the health system is also feeling the pinch from underinvestment in education and infrastructure. 
The country is facing a shortage of well-trained medical professionals, a situation that's been exacerbated by brain drain. Many of Italy's brightest minds in medicine are leaving the country for greener pastures where their skills are better recognized and rewarded. This has left the health system understaffed and overworked, further straining its resources. The infrastructure, too, is crumbling. Hospitals and clinics, once state-of-the-art, are now in dire need of upgrade and repair. This has led to a decline in the quality of healthcare, with patients often having to wait for long periods to receive treatment. Now, you might be wondering why there's a lack of investment in these crucial areas. Well, the answer lies in the economic prospects of the country. With low GDP growth and virtually non-existent productivity growth, the incentives to invest in education, innovation and infrastructure are weak. Without a robust economy to support such investments, the health system continues to suffer. In essence, the health system crisis in Italy is a reflection of what's happening in the broader economy. It's a vicious cycle. The economic challenges lead to a health system crisis, which in turn exacerbates the economic challenges. The health system crisis in Italy is not an isolated issue, but a symptom of the broader economic challenges the country faces. So, what have we learned about Italy's economic and health system challenges? We've learned that Italy has struggled to redefine its comparative advantage, leading to low GDP growth and stagnant productivity. This is largely due to a lack of innovation and educational attainment, which are both key drivers of economic prosperity. Without these, the incentives for investment in education and innovation are weak, further exacerbating the problem. We've also looked at the health system crisis in Italy, exposing a system that's failing to meet the needs of its citizens. This failure is not just a symptom of the economic challenges, but a contributing factor, further compounding the country's issues. In summary, Italy's economic stagnation and health system shortcomings are interlinked, creating a cycle that is difficult to break. These are complex issues with no easy solutions, but understanding the root causes is the first step towards addressing them.